All right, today I'm going to show you how to use an Insigna television, how to operate an Insigna television. All right, so right here I have the remote and I have the TV right in front of me, and I'm going to get started with this. So I have the remote in my hand, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is press the power button. This right here, do you see this half circle with a line going through it, that is the power button. So you want to press that to turn it on. Make sure that your television is completely plugged in before you press it to make sure it works. So I'm going to go ahead and press it and see the television turn on. Press it, and the there's an indicator light on the bottom of the TV that shows that power has been pressed. Now I'm waiting any second for it to turn on. Maybe I didn't press it all the way, so I'm going to press the power button again. This time I'm going to make sure that I press it thoroughly to make sure that it turns on. Make sure I'm pointing it towards it. Here it is. Let's see if something happens right there. So I pressed it, and it's blinking, and there it goes, Insigna. Now, at the top of the screen, it says HDMI 3. That's the input that it's selected on. You want to make sure that your input is selected in the right place uh, if it, if your uh, cable is plugged into the HDMI 3 then your television should be work, working properly so this is the screensaver that comes on to the screen right here uh, it's pretty cool screensavers it has a time at the bottom of the television which is pretty cool it says add earth and space photos using Google Home app so this uh, particular television is uh, connected to Google Chrome. All right, what happens if I press the input button, okay? If I press the input button, this comes up. And so if, if I have anything else plugged in to the television uh, on a different port, I can go ahead and switch to it. It's currently on HDMI 3. What if happens if I go to TV? All right, so I selected TV and nothing is happening because I don't have an antenna plugged you can see it says no channels were found do you want to perform channel scan and I'm gonna go with no because I have no nothing connected to it no cable box in there it's just Chromecast so it's connected directly through uh, the internet or the Wi-Fi um, but I'm not gonna use that so I'm gonna go back to HDMI 3 to where it's connected right there all right so Google Chrome Chromecast on the next thing I'm going to show you uh, is I'm going to go to the menu. Now, when I go to the menu, it gives me options as far as picture mode. I can change the picture mode from various settings. I can go from uh, standard to vivid. As you can see, it's changing different uh, looks of the screen. It goes to game. And it's different picture schemes that you can possibly use. It will give you a different look for each one of them. I'm just going to go to standard and keep it at standard. Now, say, for instance, I want to change something like the backlight or uh, the brightness. I'm just going to press over. So I'll press this button right here, the over arrow key. And then I'm going to go down and I can make adjustments to brightness or whatnot. And when I get to the right uh, brightness that I want, I'm just going to press enter. And it's going to bring me back to the screen, and I can go ahead and change things such as color, uh, the contrast, brightness, tint, sharpness, and I can reset picture settings if I choose to. And when I'm all done with this, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, it shows you at the bottom. It says uh, you can move, uh, select, press menu for the previous, press exit to exit. I'm going to press menu right now. Uh, just to go to previous and if I want to exit this I'm just gonna go ahead and press the exit button which is right here press exit and I'm out of that menu alright so that's the picture menu and now what I just did I'm gonna show you really quick I'm gonna go ahead and press the menu again and I'm going to press over and it takes me to the audio mode where it gives me options where I can choose things such as uh, uh, audio mode uh, I can go from standard theater music news and custom now these are presets that you can select from it makes a life a little bit easier that way you don't have to deal with balance bass and treble and all this other stuff but you can make adjustments yourself if you want more bass or more treble just press the over key and you can actually change the balance you can have uh, more 
uh, sound coming out of the right or left speaker. All right, so that's that. Uh, right here, we have TV speakers, and you can have it on auto, on, or off. Okay, those are the TV speakers. So if you have extra speakers connected to the television, you can actually have the music or sound coming out of those extra speakers and not from the television itself. So I'm going to go down right here, and it says digital audio format, audio delay. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm going to select that. So you can change the audio delay. I'm not sure why you'd want that. And the audio format, it's a pass through, but you can also have PCM. I'm going to back up out of this and uh, I'm going to go back down. You can reset the audio settings. So if, say for instance, you mess things up by going in and experience, experimenting with things, you can go to reset audio if you want to. And I press down and it takes you back to the top of the menu. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and press over. Oh, let me get out of that. I'm going to press the menu to go back. So it's an audio. I'm going to go to the next settings, with which is channels. Uh, uh, it skipped over channels. So I'm going to go to settings. You can do things such as parental control. You can set the time by clicking the time. You can go in there and you can select the time if you want to, as well as uh, sleep timer. Say, for instance, you want the television to go on, go turn off at 5, 10, 15, 30, 20 minutes. It keeps on going up. Yeah, you get the gist of it. I'm back up out of that. So that's the sleeper time. And then the date and time, you can select the auto mode. If you're connected to the internet with your television, it should uh, get the time correct. Uh, you can change the time zone. Currently, I'm in Pacific time zone as well as you can turn daylight savings on where the clock will be updated with daylight savings all right so i'm going to get up out of here uh, you can change the menu language if i click on that uh, you can go to the menu language you can change it from english spanish and france okay uh, audio input sen sensing you can act you can have auto input sensing. You can turn it on where it automatically detects. Currently, I have it off. Input labels, you can change it. Right now, it says HDMI 3. I can actually change it to something else if I want to, but I'm not going to mess with that too much. Button lock, you can actually uh, lock the buttons if you want to, to where people can't press the buttons and change things. In link HDMI C, not too familiar with that, but that's an option. So I'm going to get out of this. Next, I'm going to go to accessibility. So press the menu key and currently I'm on settings. I'm going to press over and I am going to go to accessibility. Now you have a voice guide, which is currently off. You can make a selection and turn that on if need be. Uh, closed caption is there. Uh, it's actually turned off from this one right now. Uh, learn how to use remote control. So that's some options right there that you can choose. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, so you can press all of that. Okay, so that's a down button. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to exit out of this. And you can reset accessibility settings if you want to. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to get out of this, press menu, and I'm going to go over to the help switch to see what's going on right there. And at the help switch, you can find out things such as system info. You can get the information about the model, the firmware of the particular television. I'm going to press uh, the menu, learn more, update firmware. You can do that to update your settings, uh, customize my TV, power on in vivid mode. Okay, if you wanted to power on vivid mode, you can have that option. TV speaker tests, you can run that, reset default. There's a lot of options right here. So that's the controls uh, with the uh, uh, the settings and the menu. I'm just going to get out of this. And there are a lot of different settings that you can choose from. You can go from favorite. You can press the favorite. That's not uh, selected right here. The info button. If I press the info button right here, it brings up HDMI 3, 1080p at 60 hertz per second. Pretty cool. There's a closed caption button, so you can press that. So if closed captioning is available, it will work with the CC. And then there's the ACC button. There, activate voice control to provide voice guidance uh, for menu, volume, channel, and program information. Voice guide. What else did it say? 
I got out of that really quick. Go ahead and exit this. Uh, a lot of different um, controls right there. Accessibility right there. So that's the accessibility button. Right here, you have the mute button. So if you're listening to audio and you want it to mute, you can press the mute button if you want to. The channel down and channel up. The volume up and volume down. And then there is a quick sleep access button. You can press this. And it brings up a sleep timer. You keep on pressing it. And it goes through all of the timings. You can change the aspect of it. Currently, it's on wide. You can change it to cinema. You can change it back to normal. Pretty cool. There's a game button, which turns the game mode on or off. All right. Gets you everything set up for that. There's a picture button, which the picture mode is on game. You turn it to custom. You can turn it to vivid. There's a lot of different settings. There's actually an energy saving uh, mode that you can use. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go back to standard. And then there's an audio button where you can have audio mode standard, theater, music, news, custom, and back to standard. A lot of different options. And then there's a play button okay like you can rewind what you're watching a lot of different things so that's the gist of how to operate the insignia television let me have you know if you have any questions with the controls or the menu buttons or settings of that nature thanks a lot for watching